Hi guys. Um, this is week eight, cycle two for the Abyssinarians. Um, for the 14s, I'm gonna get set another musical instrument. I'm not sure if I'll use the little tambourine things again or if I'll do something different, but we are going to sing the song as we do our musical instruments. Um, the Latin is the same as last week. Um, probably play Duck Duck Goose or musical chairs this week since we already learned it last week. What are some aquatic biomes? Some aquatic biomes are, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, we're gonna say ponds, ponds and lakes. So this is a pond, this is a lake. And then we're gonna say streams and rivers. And then we're gonna say wetlands. There's a lot of grass and wetlands that go with the water. So we're gonna say wetlands and estuaries. And so estuaries is like this because they, ri they fall and rise with the tides um, and they're close to the ocean. So you see a lot of movement usually. And then for oceans and seas, um, it's pretty much the same thing. It's all connected. It's one big ocean. So we're gonna go like this, oceans and seas, very rough. Okay, reflexive pronouns. For these, I want you to think of the word reflex. When you go to the doctor and they check your reflex, um, a lot of times they'll tap your knee, but it's like, it's basically when you have a reaction, it, it, you come back to yourself, okay? So you're like kind of coming in towards yourself. So to use these as an example, continuing with the water bottle example here, we're gonna say, I don't know who owns this. I tried looking for them, but I'm just gonna give it to myself because no one's claiming it. So I'm gonna take it for myself. So it's almost like the object of the, we're like the, it's like you're using yourself as the object of the verb. So you're saying, I'm going to give it to myself. Or you could say, I don't know whose this is, but if you want it, take it for yourself, okay? Um, also, um, he went looking for the owner, but couldn't find him. So he took it for himself or she took it for herself or, um, it didn't have a cat, but it found one and couldn't find the owner. So it wanted it for itself. Um, how about... We really like it and we don't know who it belongs to, so we took it for ourselves, didn't we? Um, do you know who this belongs to? I don't want it, um, but I'm talking to the whole class now. If you all want it, take it for yourselves. Yeah! Um, they found a water bottle over in the fields and they want it for themselves unless anyone claims it. So that's kind of how we use it. Okay, let's do our timeline. For Council of Nicaea, we're gonna make huddling arms, like we're huddling after a game or before a game. So we're gonna say Council of Nicaea, and then Augustine of Hippo, because he was a thinker, Augustine of Hippo. Um, Jerome completes the Vulgate for writing because he it was a translation of the Bible that took him his whole life. V for Visigoths, sack Rome, and we're gonna throw down our arms like they sacked it, okay? And then for Council of Chalcedon, we're going to do another huddling kind of council arm. So council, and then we're going to make a C of Chalcedon. And then we're going to make a W. We're going to say Western Roman Empire falls. And then we're going to go to barbarians. Okay. Tell me about European explorers. Between the late 1400s and mid 1500s. Diaz rounded the Cape of Good Hope. And the Cape of Good Hope is kind of rounded like this on the bottom, so that's why I'm doing this. Rounded the Cape of Good Hope. Amerigo Vespucci, we're gonna make a V. Amerigo Vespucci sailed to the Americas. And so this is North America and this is South America, the Americas. And then we're gonna say Balboa. Balboa crossed. Central America, so I'm wiggling my thumb because that's where Central America is, to the Pacific, there's the Pacific Ocean. 
and Magellan's crew sailed around the world, around the globe. Coronado explored the American Southwest. And I'm just pointing to where the Southwest US, the, of the United States would be. Um, so yeah, that's it. And feel free to just use um, the map for this too, because our geography this week goes along with this. So if you want to just grab the map out and review history along with geography, I feel like this week it makes a lot of sense. Okay, so for Mid-Atlantic World, we're basically just gonna take our little boats again and we're gonna go for a trip. So we're gonna, oh, are you okay? You okay, Jonah? Okay. All right, so we are going to take our boats and we're gonna round with our boats the Cape of Good Hope. And then we're gonna go through the Strait of Magellan on our map. So let me just take this. Take our boats and we're gonna round the Cape of Good Hope. Go through the Strait of Magellan. And then we're gonna go around to the Canary Islands. And then we're gonna kinda go by the Treaty of Tordesillas. So this line that splits the map, Portugal, was given rights to all this land and Spain was given rights to this land. It was signed in a Spanish um, place called Tordesillas. Um, so a lot of these countries actually speak Portuguese like up in here and in here. But anyways, there you go.